Hey, it's Rich Baum with Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California, yet again with another tutorial, helpful tutorial, which will hopefully answer a question I keep getting. I, I can't tell you how many people have sent this question to me over and over and over again. It's about the special sauce and or a full bump, if you want to want to call it that. Well, it's basically just a preset and it's something I do in Lightroom. You can do it too. And it's nothing special. It's nothing magical. Presets, uh, I think the, the business wants you to think that these presets are these unbelievable things that you, can, you can't do. Only they can do, so you've got to buy it from them. Well, that's not true. It's the same thing with actions. We can all do, make actions. Just some people are, are more adept to making it than others. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do the full bump and why I do it and how it affects what I do. And, uh, you know, you can do your own variation of it and uh, do different presets. And I, I really suggest making uh, quite a few presets. Name them as you'd like, and then you'll have uh, an uh, already done thing. So you can just click a button and you get all this stuff done for you real quickly. But again, the um, full bump or the special sauce is nothing special. It's just a, an action that I've used or a preset that I've used uh, for a long time now that just seems to work for me in my workflow. So sit back, watch, and uh, don't be amazed because you can just do it yourself. So uh, here you go. The full bump special sauce. Okay, now we're into Lightroom, into the develop module up here. And if you guys look around, you'll see over here on the left is presets. Okay, and that's where I put my presets. And I put them, Lightroom has all these different presets. And I have my own. I have some sports presets. I have some black and whites. And I have my users presets. These are all things that I have done myself. Some of them are A6000 16 to 50 fix. I have a landscape bump for A6000, final real estate bump. And then I have my full bump, which is down here. And I'm just going to show you what it is. And you can see over here, there's nothing picked. This is straight out of camera. And what I'm going to do is just click on Z full bump. And I put Z because the presets are saved in alphabetical order. And I wanted my ones I use all the time to be all together. So I always put Z next to it. So that will allow me to have them come up at the very end of the presets. So I know where they are. Anyway, let's just do the full bump. So this is nothing magical. It's nothing you can't do. And it's just a general baseline for you to start with. So for this image, it made it go from, oops, made it go from, let me go back here, from there, to full bump. One, two, three, good. Now I would still need to change things on this. I'd need to increase this. I'd need to fix the white balance. Let me get that a little fixed there. Nothing happening. It's not changing anything. Let me try one more time. Try it on something else. Try it on something more gray, I think. There we go, a little warmer. Anyway, so basically the Magical full bump is nothing special. It is just a baseline that I can start with. Let me go over here to an interior shot. Uh, right here, you can see, I'm just gonna do the full bump. One, two, three, full bump. It didn't do much, but it gets me in the right ballpark with, with these settings that I would normally do. And I always like to push my sliders for flash shots, uh, my interior shots, but let me just go over basic, let's start on this exterior shot. Now I'm just going to show you how I make, here's the full bump, one, two, three, full bump there. And it really is nice here, I like this, okay? So all you have to do to really know what my full bump is, is to look right here. This is pretty much everything. I don't even think I do dehaze. Actually, I like a little bit more dehaze these days but not much, dehaze you can overdo. But that's my full bump, and it's nothing special, it's nothing you can't do. Man, presets are nothing people should really pay for. They're not really anything special. They're just something that somebody did, and you can do it too. So let me go back here and try and recreate it for you. 
So I've got everything straight out of camera. I'm just going to take my highlights and bring them down 89%. Take my shadows, bring it up 90%. I'm going to take my whites, push it up, I don't know, 30%. My blacks, take it down 20%. I'm going to do clarity up a little bit, just a little bit of clarity. Do a little bit of saturation. And um, I'm going to do a teeny bit of contrast. Okay, and I'm going to do just a touch of my new special, Dehaze. And there we go. There is my new, I'm going to actually make this my new full bump. Okay, and it's also called special sauce. So I'm just keeping it like this. I'm not changing, actually, I'm just going to go up a little bit. 25%, 20.25% 20, on the exposure. And that's what I'm going to use as my new full bump. So the way I save this, because I already have it saved here, is I right click on the uh, on the preset and I'm going to update it with current settings. There we go. And I'm just going to click all. Okay. And I'm going to update. And there's my new full bump. You and I watched it. I made it. It's amazing. And it's something you can't do. Only I can do. No, no, no. Everybody can do it. Everybody should do it. Nobody should pay money for it. So let's go over here to another image. I'm going to bring it back. Okay, there's right out of camera. I'm just going to do my full bump. Bam. Now, I still need to adjust this because the full bump is just a baseline. It's not a magical fix for everything, but it's just giving you in the ballpark. Okay, there we go. Let me bring this up a little warmer. Okay, now I would not want to update my full bump now because I've changed the white balance and you don't want to change white balance on presets because every shot is different. Okay, so that's just a baseline. Let's go over here to a flash shot. Okay, now a little over, you know, I'm going to have to fix this, so don't worry about it, but let's just do my new full bump. You watched it. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to bring down the exposure. That's all it was doing was getting me in the ballpark. Okay, so here we go. This is the original shot. On the left is original, right shot. I got in the ballpark with my full bump and then I brought it down almost a full stop. So there you go, okay? And if you wondered what this was, it's an A-B comparison. You can go see before and after right here and you can change it by clicking on it different ways you can see it. Okay, whatever works for you. So there's before and after, okay? I'm gonna go back to just after. And that's just a baseline, that's where I start. Now I wanna tell you something. I'm gonna do a new, a new, um, uh, a new preset. And I wanna show you why I named it Z. Because if I put it up into here and I just named a new preset and I go full bump, which is fine. I'm just going to have everything here, except remember, I took down the exposure, so I don't want the exposure to go on this preset. I'm just going to go create. And the problem is, is it puts it down here, down here, because it's F, and it goes in between F and G as in alphabetical order. So the way around this is to do it. I'm going to make a new full bump. Okay, and I'm going to call it special sauce this time, but I'm going to do it with a Z. Z, S P E C I A L. I'm just going to do special. And I put Z in here. So it goes down at the very bottom or close to the bottom, but it's still in alphabetical order. But here you go. It's down here where it's all my Z's are what I use all the time, so they're all together. So that was my workaround for um, keeping it in, 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 away from alphabetical order. Okay, so now let's look at a few other things I keep down here. I keep my vignette down here because I actually just had a vignette. Let's go here. When you get Lightroom, you're going to have your two vignettes. I'm going to do vignette two here. Now, what I want to do is I want to save it, but I don't want it to be all the way up here. I want it to be down at the bottom. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to go make it a new preset and go Z and uh, 
Vim. Okay, and that's going to come down here and I'm going to do check none and I'm just going to do um, lens vignetting. No, I don't know if that's going to show it. So you know what? I'm just going to check all. I don't remember what that's under, so I apologize. So create and there we go. So let's get rid of the um, let's do the full bump. OK, there we go. Full bump. I'm going to bring it back to what it was. Actually, I want to now just do the uh, bring that down. I think it was 95.95, just under a stop lower. So there's my final image. I want to add a the vignette to it, Z Vin. And there we go. There's the, the vignette. It's a little heavy. I'm not crazy about it, but I'm going to keep it just here. Okay. That's the vignette one, single vignette. Okay, there you go. Anyway, there's a there's a, a, a bump for you, okay? So the special sauce and the full bump is nothing that special. It's just a preset that I do to get me into, um, into the ballpark. And let me show you another one. What do I have? Let's do, um, hmm. Let's do a um, final bump. Okay, when I finish my images, sometimes I want a little more clarity and a little more contrast. So I have a final bump. Here it goes, final bump. Watch the difference. Oops. Nope, never mind. Strike that. I always do my final bump after I bring it in from Photoshop. So it's actually a whole nother file. Okay. And uh, here we can we can do this one. There we go. Let's just do my final bump. So I hope that didn't confuse you. So my final bump is just adding a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit. There's my final bump. I'm just adding a little bit of white, a little bit of contrast and a little bit of clarity and a little bit of vibrance. Now I do that because when I finish my shot in Photoshop and it comes back into Lightroom, Finally, as a TIFF, all my Photoshop work I save as a TIFF, and then I just do a little extra uh, bump, like this final bump, um, because I want a little extra contrast. I do this about 30-40% of the time. Many shots, I don't like that. So I'm just going to go, instead, I'm just going to do the um, full bump. There we go, my full bump. Okay. And now I'm just going to lower the exposure down. There we go. And there's my shot. There's my flash exposure straight out of camera, except it's got the full bump now. Uh, this is before I did any Photoshop work on it, so it's not a finished product. Let's go back to the first image here, and let's just see how great this full bump is. Now, this is a bland uh, twilight shot. What, what in the world could I get out of this? All I have to do is a, let's do a final, oh, let's do the full bump here. This is the one we, we made at the beginning. There we go. And let's bring up, let's play around with it. Let's make it a little warmer. Let's bring up a little bit of saturation, a little bit of more of dehaze. Let's bring the temperature up just even a little more. There we go. And you could make this final um, final thing your, your new bump. You could do anything you wanted. Now let's go down here and let's click uh, auto align. Let's see how that works. And let's bring it down and put a little more dehaze in it. Oh, look, you're getting two videos for the price of one. A little more vibrance. And I'm going to do a vignette here. Okay. And I'm going to do a couple more things. I'm going to do a little more saturation in my blues. A little more in the oranges. Okay. And there you go. So, uh, yeah, maybe a little more light. This is by no means my finished product. But... It is something to see. And let me see actually what was my um, finished product. 
So I'm just going to go back to my image before. And uh, I'm going to maybe leave no keywords so I can see it. Here's my finished. Actually, here is the one that I just did for you. And here is the delivered image. So you can see that this turns into this by just doing a little uh, little bump. Now I did did a lot of little stuff there, but a little sky replacement too. And this may not be your cup of tea. It may look a little fake or a little saturated, but it just shows you you can go from this to this in Lightroom, except for the sky replacement. Anyway, there you go. And here is the one without the sky replacement we just did. And actually, I'm just going to add a little more contrast or clarity. Let's try clarity and contrast. There we go. Excellent. So here's the finished delivered image I delivered. And this is the one I just did for you. So you can see uh, it can turn into this with just even a little more. So there you have it. It's uh, just a preset. Oh my gosh, it's just a preset. It's not special. It's not sauce. It's just a preset. No, anybody can do it. I really wanted to show you that it is really easy and it's really, really effective and very important, especially in this type of photography, but important in all types of photography. So I'd like to say thank you for hanging out. I'd like to ask you, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, use the link to Adorama below. And it's in the show notes. If you're going to purchase something, I get just a teeny little bump and that really helps me get like a cup of coffee anyway. So um, have a great day and uh, please subscribe, but uh, post your questions and comments, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want. I don't care. Um, and I am returning all of my questions. I'm answering all of my comments. So feel free to ask, as I'm always happy to. But please, I hope now you never have to ask again, Rich, what is the special sauce? I can't find it. Because you need to make the special sauce. You make your own special sauce. See you later. Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California, saying thumbs up.